A huge difference between the next election and the one we saw in 2019 is that, of course, the Brexit Party stood down against every Conservative MP at the last election and Reform UK pledging to stand in every seat in England, Scotland and Wales at the next election. We did see Reform breakthrough in Derby. They won six seats in Derby. Clearly a lesson in terms of what's going on there locally for the rest of the country for Reform UK. You are seeing still a trickle of former Conservative councillors. There's been one in Hastings recently, Lucian Fernando, at joining Reform UK. But in a big warning, I think, to some of the U-turns we've seen recently in terms of the bonfire of EU rules. Huge warning, I think, from Reform UK. In a email that's gone out from Ben Habib, involved with Reform UK, the headline there that the Conservative Party has given up on Brexit. And let me know if you agree with what Ben Habib had to say here. Ben right in there that there are still over 4,000 other EU regulations on the statute books that these are laws made by the EU for the EU, not for the UK. An unelected bureaucracy in Brussels made laws for its interests and even though we are no longer obliged to abide by them, abide by them we do. Uh, pointing out that of course some are blaming the civil service on this. But Ben's saying that after 13 years in government the Conservative Party is out of control, it cannot even control its own administration and that the Tory party has given up on Brexit. Ben Habib saying that the truth is Brexit has been betrayed, that Sunak and the Conservatives elected by the British people have instead decided to ignore the biggest democratic mandate in history and serve instead the EU. And that the only hope of defeating these malign forces is through roots and branch reform. Now, very clear, that sort of message, along with uh, other messages that we've seen from Richard Tice, are going to be major factors at the next election in terms of can the Conservatives still secure the support of many leavers who backed them in 2019? Or are you going to see instead, after the various U-turns we've seen, significant numbers of voters vote for Reform UK? Let me know if you agree with what Ben had to say there, who you currently intend to vote for. I will keep bringing you all the latest on this and more. So please do whack this video with a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.